The digital manipulation of photographs has an important new application, finding missing children. Cheryl Morian was seven years old when she was kidnapped by a stranger. Her family hasn't seen her for 10 years. Today, she would be 17. Steve Lofton is a forensic artist with an unusual skill. He can alter a photograph to produce an image of how Cheryl's face might have aged. He uses a picture of her sister as a guide. Uh, her sister is 19 in this photograph. And uh, the computer will stretch the face. I'll go back now and merge Cheryl's sister's uh, face here. I'll line those two images up using the eyes as a plane of reference, simply because the orbits will not change position. And I'm going to borrow those mature features from her sister. What you see is two images, but I've obtained the maturity here in the cheeks and the mandible area, and have applied that to Cheryl's face. Uh, we're going to go ahead and assume that if she were still out there and alive and, and walking around, she'd have a nice set of teeth. I'm borrowing those teeth. I'm placing them in Cheryl's mouth here. I'm also going to borrow the neck and dress. And as you can see, the uh, skin tones aren't the same. I'll come back with the airbrush and match up the skin tones. I will consider giving her a more mature hairstyle, more in keeping with a 17-year-old. Tragically, Cheryl Morian is still missing. But the center has had its successes. And it is because of the distribution of millions of pictures like these, computer-created photographs of the adolescents these children might have become.